Welcome everyone, it's Kat here from Handmade by Cat Slade and today I'm going to show you how I put together this new Christmas tree pop-up card from Cricut Design Space. Now as you can see I cut all the pieces using my Cricut Maker and it scored the lines where it needs to be folded, it cut out all the details that need to be cut out. It actually didn't take very long to cut all my pieces and I chose to use slightly different cardstock patterns from the design but obviously you can copy the design exactly if you wish so these are all the different parts you need with various score lines and cut lines so the first thing i'm going to do is take the two largest trees and slot them in together so one has a slot at the bottom in the middle and the other has a slot at the top in the middle so slide the one with the slit at the bottom into the top of the other tree to create a crisscross design and it should stand like that so next we're going to take two smaller trees and these are the ones with the slit in the middle and the two slits at the top on either side and they're going to go down the sides of the tree. So this can be a bit fiddly but it does get a bit more fiddly a bit later on so just slide the middle slit down onto the top of the side of that other middle bit there. Okay, so then we're going to take the other two trees and these have the slots in the bottom. There's three slots along the bottom. So they're going to go on the opposite side and connect to the other three parts on that side. So just slide in from the top to connect them. Now it can, again, be a little tricky, but take your time and just slide those in. They should slide all the way down so that the base is flush and the tree stands up. So once you have that side in, we're going to repeat the process with the one on the other side. So slide all three slots right in there, all the way down to the base. So that's what it should look like. And as you can see, it goes 3D or you can fold it flat. Just check that it lays flat once you put those pieces in there. Next up, we're going to take the star. There's just two parts to this. There is a slit in the top and in the bottom. So again, take the piece with the slit in the bottom and slide it into the top slit on the other one. Again, making yourself the 3D star. And this goes into a small notch on the top of the green tree. Now I did take some glue and just glued it in place. You don't want very much, you just want a tiny bit because it does need to be able to move. But I just glued it so that it wouldn't come out if for some reason the card was upside down. You don't actually need to glue it into, into place. Um, it was just something that I chose to do. So next up we take this tiny H-shaped piece. And this is just going to secure the tree together so that it doesn't slide out. And you're just going to put a little bit of glue on two of the sides before attaching it. So you can see those bits are stuck and I'm going to put glue on the two tabs sticking out at the bottom. Fold those over and that just connects the tree and stops the two parts from sliding apart, therefore keeping the base a little bit more stable. Take this straight piece and fold it along the score lines. This is going to create the base that goes around the bottom of the tree in the middle of your card. So next fold the other two green pieces. These are going to create the structure of the base and once you've got them folded along the score lines you slot them in on top of each other around the base onto the tree. It's a little bit tricky but have some patience and you will get there. And then you want to fold the two tabs over on both sides there. Those tabs are going to go underneath the card to secure it for the pop-up. So next you take your one of your semicircles, it has a slit down here and that's where those tabs are going to go into. So you want to fold the tree flat and slide two of the tabs into that slot. I then uh, flipped it over and glued those two tabs down. So then you want to repeat the process with the other two tabs on the other side. Now I use Recollections glue because I find it dries quickly and it dries clear. So next on the base, we're going to take that long strip that we folded along the score lines and wrap that around. So I glued one end and then I used my tweezers there to hold it in place while the glue dried. 
and then wrapped the remainder around the base and glued it to itself. Next I took the base of the card, which had a score line down the middle, and folded it down the score line. Take the two white pieces of card and they're going to go on the inside for people to write in. And you can use glue or you can use your double sided tape or a tape roller. I use glue on this because then I can still reposition the card slightly if I need to. Make sure you don't have any glue or tape where the cutout of the tree is on the front of the card because otherwise it will obviously show through. And then repeat the process with the other side. Make sure you don't have any glue on those gaps either. And less is more. You can always add more glue, but it's very tricky to get rid of excess glue and keep the card looking clean and tidy. So now you want to take your tree with the circle base and keep it folded flat. And then you're going to line up the edge of the half circle there with the edge of your white piece of cardstock and add glue and remember careful not to add glue on anything that's going to show through so avoid the gaps and then place it in position and hold until the glue dries. So I did realize once I glued the side down that the star was sticking out the edge of the card a tiny bit so when placing your white pieces make sure that they're close enough to the center that your tree will be contained within the card. Then you want to glue the other side and then fold flat and leave it to dry for a minute. So once it's dry you can open it up and check that it worked. If you like this pop-up then please do check out my other pop-up card videos and click the links. And if you want to see how the envelope is made then do stay tuned because I'm about to show you how to do that. So I cut the envelope as one piece earlier on my Cricut Maker and I like to use uh, pattern paper for my envelopes because they actually fold easier than envelopes with cardstock and they're lighter weight if you are sending them in the mail as well. So I, I folded this along all the score lines. But as the pattern paper didn't match my card exactly I decided to flip the envelope inside out so the festive pattern was on the inside of the envelope and the outside is white. This actually makes more sense if you're sending it through the mail as well because it gives you a plain surface to write the name and address on the front. So once I've folded along all those score lines I actually use my scoring stylus again just to go down the edges and this gives me a definitive line as to where my glue needs to go or tape to stick my envelope together. So if you do use glue on the paper, make sure you use only a tiny bit because it's paper, it's thin, you don't want a soggy envelope. So a little bit of glue that dries fast and clear is ideal. Or you can use your double-sided sticky tape. And then with these envelopes, I also add double-sided sticky tape along the top edges so that it can be closed easily with tape. So there we go, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.